Hello, welcome to a new video. Bit of a different one today. You join me on a rather overgrown old Midland line. Nobody maintains it. Nobody comes along here with a strimmer. At least not this part. Well, that's fine. It's fine. It's El Natural. <laughs> anyway, uh, what am I doing today? So, uh, no Audax today, no time limits. Uh, set routes or anything I'm doing a just a loop out to uh, into Wiltshire up onto the uh, Cotswood escarpment and then a uh, bit of the Foss way uh, down to sort of near enough onto the M4 and then back up through Malmesbury and back home so uh, yeah I'm only doing just over 80k today so uh, a nice short relaxed one um, so but just wow, it's just gone midday, so uh, nice, nice late, lazy start. And uh, you can see these people on there paddle boards. I don't know if you can see them right in the, the overgrown tree there, but uh, anyway, yes, so uh, we're off going along there here. Oh, some more come in now. Let's have a look. Let's show you. You can just see their feet coming under the uh there. Anyway, let's crack on. So I've uh, just come through Minchinampton and this is uh, Minchinampton Golf Course is either side of the road here. You can see the uh, the uh, Pringle Jumper Brigade. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, we're just dropping down into uh, Cherrington Pond. Oh, there you go, better view. It's quite overgrown, to be honest. It's... Uh, Yeah, next stop is going to be uh, Tetbury. Hiya. So welcome to the village of uh, Charrington. So I've just come up here just to the, uh, the right behind the uh, phone box there and uh, it's a bit of a pull up there from the uh, from the pond. I didn't stop and video down there because uh, this time of year it's all full of vegetation and you can't really see a lot. But uh, yeah, it's um, you know you can kind of tell there's a lot of holiday homes and stuff around here. There's just people you don't normally see, so you can kind of tell it's that time of year. But that's fine. Anyway. I'm going to go off it this way, round to the right, and off into uh, Tetbury. It's not that far away, so it's three or four miles. Oh, it's certainly warm. I was thinking it was uh, a bit chilly to begin with, but uh, well, I've climbed up onto the top. And it certainly gets you warm. So, whilst I'm sat here, Let's have a chat about uh, what I'm going to be doing between sort of now and uh, and Christmas, riding the bike wise. Oh, God, I'm sweating in my eyes now. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot more calendar events, Audax calendar events. So if you're not a, uh, you don't do Audax, then uh, it's basically there's a calendar uh, a calendar of events uh, that are organised under the uh, Audax UK. Uh, uh, rules, regulations, etc. And uh, I, since COVID, I've, I've cut right down on how many I've done. And I tend to sort of avoid, not avoid them, but not do them in the summers because I kind of like doing the DIY stuff. You know, I really like doing the uh, the route planning and all the rest of it. You know, that's kind of part of the pleasure of it for me. Um, but uh, I think I've probably done a bit too much of that. And, uh, you know, that's, that's why I've had my, uh, you know, my stale, uh, 
feeling. So uh, I've entered a load of uh, events, starting uh, with Hay in a Day uh, with uh, Mark Rigby uh, for a sort of Saturday in September. Uh, I've got the one for Will Pomeroy is uh, organising the weekend after. Um, and I've basically got something most weekends up to Christmas, so uh, that keep me busy and occupied. And it'd be good to see, uh, you know, a lot of people that come and watch these videos uh, as well. You know, I've been a bit of an anti-social git, I suppose, the last couple of years. So uh, it's time to got to get out of that mindset and just, you know, come and enjoy, enjoy some company and like-minded individuals. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to be doing the. Uh, Sunseekers and Moonrakers, or Moonrakers and Sunseekers, whatever it's called. I've entered that, and I've also entered the uh, Four Fat Festive 500 again. Um, I haven't completed the last two, but uh, last time was just my head because I got around as far as Northampton, and you know, uh, you know, it's, it's th thinking back now, it was like bloody stupid, really, because you know you've done the done the bulk of it at that point, and it's other than a few little bits of. Uh, these people have been driving round. It's like, you know, with all the technology uh, available for navigation, <laughs> people still get lost. It's really bizarre. Um, yeah, so I'm doing the, the Moon Rakers again, because uh, I really enjoy that event. And then uh, I'm also doing the Four Fat Fest in 500. I think I'm repeating myself, but uh, you can tell this isn't scripted. Um, and I'm, but I'm doing it as a permanent. I'm not going to do the uh, with everybody else. I'm actually going to do it 24 hours early. Uh, reason being, I don't need any time off work then. So uh, that's, that's the plan. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens after Christmas. You know, I'm going to do me uh, me Zwifting uh, again this winter. That was actually pretty good. Um, I, I am fitter than I was last year. Uh, for sure, I just need to lose a bit of a bit of belly. Uh, hence why I'm going to be doing these uh, calendar events, and then, then plugging the gaps in between those. Um, I'm going to be doing a few bits and pieces as well. Still going to do some DIYs, which obviously I'm going to share with yourselves. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. But that's basically what's going to be happening between here and, and Christmas. So uh, you find me in uh, Tetbury Good Shed, with the Whistle Stop Cafe there. And a bacon roll. I could kind of get used to this uh, relaxed riding. <laughs> so the town of Tetbury is just through the trees here. I should go back up through uh, the car park there and back up onto the road. I'm off towards Ship to Moyne. So as I said, that was, uh, oh look at that. That bigger drive, you can't even see the house. <laughs> anyway, uh, as I said, that was the uh, good shed at Tetbury. The, village, uh, the town of Tetbury. And uh, as you saw, I had a lovely bacon bath and a coffee there. It was quite busy. There's a bit of a railway line pathing path there. And uh, it's like, you know, today it was like a void job because it was just so busy, you know. Well, that's good. It's good that people are using that sort of facility. And we're just coming up to the, the village of uh, Shipton Moyne. And I'm going to turn right here on White House Lane. See you some other time, ship to Moyne. Yeah, so we're uh, basically heading towards roughly the uh, the Fossway. We've got maybe a mile of the Fossway. 
some some of it is on the gravel some of it is tarmac and then now uh, we're going to pick lane I think at the end of pig lane there's a bit of a a bridle way so uh, oops have a couple of hundred meters of a bridle way no idea what the surface of it is like I'll walk if it's that bad oh windy again today and of course it's in my face Hello, another quarter of a mile and I'll turn left. Maybe back to being a crosswind again. So, uh, maybe mile and a half to my right. So that's kind of north. My current location is uh, Highgrove House. So, uh, Highgrove House is where King Charles lived. I think he still does. And it's basically given to the Prince of Wales. So it's part of the Duchy of Cornwall estate, maybe. And I think King Charles liked it that much. He's basically renting off of Prince William, is the, my understanding of it. Anyway, that's about a mile and a half to my right. You can actually see the, the house from the main road. From the gates but uh, you know as he's now the king he might get some uh, attention from the security services so uh, I shan't be doing that we're doing without that aggro wow Here I am, it's uh, well, this is a uh, pig lane, and uh, it's now dropped into the uh, this bridle way. So, uh, just around the corner there, it was uh, tarmacked up until then, and now it's just on this little dirt track thing. It's only a couple hundred yards, uh, meters, so I would imagine that that uh, bunch of trees there will be the uh, the road again, so that's all right, but only because there's a farm over here, so uh. Yeah, it should be only like this for a short distance. But, uh, yeah, me, uh, um, Mike's decided not to uh, link up with the camera now, so uh, have a look at that when I get home. But, uh, yeah, this uh, this field is uh, due to be harvested, I would imagine, any time now. I see they've done the uh, the hay on this side, collected, uh, just ready to uh, bale it until it's ready to be collected. Oh, it's uh, it's bliss just being here in the uh, uh, quiet. There's a lot of people on holiday at the moment, and uh, you're going through the lanes, and there's motorhomes that are towing car uh, cars behind it. And, got onto the frost way the gravelly bit and thought oh that'd be quiet and then there was a convoy of four by fours you know dust everywhere oh, jesus but uh now we're uh, now in the quiet bit so that's good relax again now lots of uh blackberries this year Well, that's proper close. So 
So I've just stopped in this gateway here to uh, reconnect my mic, which I've now managed to do. I do uh, radio, so I've just got my reading glasses still on. Um, <laughs> to put my glasses on to read the instructions. But I'm here just sort of fiddling around with the mic, you know, it's a Bluetooth thing and uh, you know, the uh, the M4 is, is over that direction a few hundred yards and uh, you know, got this uh, this field of corn on the cob basically what that is. And I'm just here, uh, you know, reconnecting the uh, the mic to the, the camera and uh, I saw some movement out the corner of my eye and it was a fox. And he sort of just looked at me and I looked at him and he disappeared off at, at that side of the fe uh, field, you know, by the fence there. But uh, yeah, it's bizarre seeing it this, this time of day. You know, and uh, there's some amount of traffic about as well. Oh dear. Anyway, let's get on a bit further. I'm happy now I've reconnected this mic. It's bothering me, you know, when something stops working for no apparent reason. And I've just got to fix it. Anyway, I'm just outside the village of Corston now. It's about half a mile behind me. Uh, and I'm on my way basically to Malmesbury, which is kind of in that general direction. And uh, yeah, it's nice to be back on the uh, quiet lanes. Although saying that, I've been on quiet lanes for the last fair few miles, to be honest. But uh, you know, there was a couple of hundred yards back there on the main uh, sort of chipping into Malmesbury Road, and it's like, oh. And uh, yeah, there was uh, all the motor homes again. Anyway, <laughs> I sound a right grumpy git today, don't I? Mm. I'm not really. It's just an observation. Anyway. Well, here I am back on the uh, North Midland line. Between uh, Nailsworth and Stroud. So I'm at the far end to where I live, for want of a better description. I remember coming along here in the uh, mid 80s looking a lot different to it does now a little bit of investment put in it for everybody to enjoy in fact this little stretch that i'm just coming up to now uh, they replaced the bridge here a couple of years back and uh, you have to go down through this gate here down some steps and back up to their side. But now they've got the uh, something that looks like nothing at all, but it's a you know a bridge. It's a shame this bit is uh, quite so narrow. So if you meet anybody coming the other way, it's kind of awkward. Never mind. And it's always been like it now, it's like something recent. I did notice there was a cafe up here advertised. I mean it'd be closed now but uh, the old adage of uh, build it and they will come. I uh, shut it off one that's a very early shut. Oh, I don't know they might be open. Maybe I misread the, uh, the sign. Uh, this was uh, hard packed dirt until quite recently. It's quite nice now. It's slightly downhill in this direction as well. Something I've noticed today on some of the trees, the leaves are just starting to change, which is blooming depressing, isn't it? Autumn. We didn't really have a very good summer. 
it never got going, you know. Here in Southern Europe, it, it'd be on fire. <laughs> the A46 up there, takes you to Bath, on to the wards left of the screen, or straight to the right, and there's always really good uh, artwork in here, a bit too dark today. I've never noticed this uh, bench here before. Get off and have a look at the little river. It's obviously very popular, the grass is grown, uh, worn away. You can see skaters on top of the, the surface. That's not taller than Dean, by the way. Can't be of a certain age to know who they are, I think. There was something else I was gonna mention. And for the life of me, I can't remember what it is now. Gone out of my head. But, uh, peaceful apart from the traffic well here we are a little bit further along in the same body of water I believe it's the river Frome it's about the same as Frome I think the old Midland line is it's up through those trees. I've just come down, dropped down here to go into the petrol station. I'm going to get a drink. Well, I'm out on uh, probably 200 metres from the, uh, the bridge over the River Kwai. <laughs> um, and uh, this is the site of the old uh, Dead Bridge uh, Midland Railway Station. Uh, there are a few clues. There's a plaque somewhere. I think the ivy's grown over it, actually. Um, yeah, there's a plaque here somewhere. Oh, it's down here. There we go. So, uh, it was closed in 1969. And uh, there are a few clues uh, still left. You see down here, you've got the, um, the edging of the platform still. The actual track bed they've filled in. So it's, it's not a drop anymore. It used to be. I remember it being like that. I know I'm ancient, but uh, I'm not that ancient. <laughs> it's... Uh, yeah, the, the little tunnel you can see, just see there, that used to be a little road bridge and they took the road bridge out and extended it, widened the road because uh, it was, you know, tiny and uh, put the tunnel in. When would that have been? 80s? Late 80s maybe, something like that. They put this roundabout in to bypass. I remember going to the, uh, I don't know if I've told this story before, but I went to the, uh, the public consultation of that, uh, that road being built and uh, the canal the culvert as well, you know, where I was talking to you first of all, as well, it was all about that. That was a long time ago now. But we managed to keep the bike path open because they wanted to flatten it. You know, it's been a good day today, nice and relaxed, not too far, it's just gone 5pm now, so uh, a nice mooch around the countryside. You know, and it, it, it's not so um, much of a mental effort as well, you know, just 
enjoying it and that's what I've done today it's been really good to think I've been down to the Chippenham Junction on the, uh, the M4 and I'm back up home again now near enough near as damn it as they say This is Blunder Lock on the Strode Water Canal and they're uh, basically uh, doing this up so uh, eventually you'll be able to take a narrow boat along here and out towards uh, Seoul and uh, well as you can see they did this lock up I think it was around to certainly in the last 10 years anyway uh, rather nice now and uh, the lay by here by this main road sometimes get uh, a wagon in there that sells um, sort of smoothies and that sort of thing you know but uh, yeah it's rather rather lovely other than the traffic always the traffic that spoils it <laughs> I was going to uh, wrap this video up at the place where I spoke to you first of all, but uh, there was a family on bikes and they stopped there. I'm like, damn it. So here we are instead. But uh, yeah, as I said, you know, between now and Christmas, a lot more uh, calendar events, or Dax UK calendar events. So uh, that should start kicking in in the next couple of weeks. And uh, you did. Have a look at that rather than me. And uh, yeah, watch this space. Watch this space. Anyway, if you made it uh, this far in this video, thanks very much, and I shall see you on the next video.